uh, I would say that coming to the Caribbean or being in South America has really opened my eyes a lot in terms of how to embrace my you know African roots because I feel like Pan-Africanism was not born in Africa I don't know the whole history of how Pan-Africanism was born but the people out here in the Caribbean in the South America I mean in the diaspora appreciate Africa and I mean they carry Africa everywhere they go even more than some of us that are born on the continent Elsie yeah. will you agree with me that Pan-Africanism was born in the diaspora I think it was it probably wasn't born in the diaspora maybe it was born in Africa no but no no yes, no no no, I, no, 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 listen, no listen listen see, I think see, I think Pan-Africanism originated from after colonialism no the no I will, I will, I will help you with that you know, Kwame Nkrumah was inspired by Marcus Garvey. Oh, he was? Okay, never mind. It was. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it was the other way around. And Nkrumah was inspired by Marcus. Nkrumah, and Nkrumah, uh, Nkrumah was what's in... his name? Nayeri? He was, who, who was he inspired uh, in by? Yeah. yeah. So all these guys were inspired by, by Marcus Garvey? Malcolm X. And all of these guys? Oh, exactly. Okay, well, it was definitely, so, no. Pan-Africanism definitely <laughs> originated from in the diaspora then. I, definitely. I, 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 I would say that Pan-Africanism was inspired in the belly of the slave ship. Ah, okay, because, I understand be, because, because most of them probably, all they knew was I'm Igbo, I'm yes, fancy, yes. I'm, they, know, they knew their tribe. Yes. But then they brought all of them together. And they had to have something to connect them to each other, and that's the root of Pan Africanism. Because meeting a young girl from Trinidad and also Jamaica, and them telling me that um, they speak Swahili. Yeah. I don't speak Swahili. And you and you came out of Africa. Exactly. Okay, now I see what you're saying. But uh, I think that the reason why Pan Africanism is so strong out here is because. We are born with this thing inside of us that tells us you're an African man, you're an African woman. You're connected to a deeper source that is somewhere outside of your country. Mm. And so we have this yearning to find out what, what is it, what is it, what is it that's calling me to this place and then we start reading about it and we learn about the history of enslavement and we learn where we actually came from and we hold on to that. But sometimes when we meet Africans from the continent of Africa and we say, oh, you know, I'm African, I'm African Guyanese, for example, that's how I identify. They say, why are you calling yourself African? Really? Yeah, I said, where do you think this skin comes from? All black people came from Africa, man. That's, that's the source, literally the birthplace of humanity. And sometimes I've had to explain that to Africans from the continent. And that was the first time I realized that they don't know their history. Forgive us, including me, because we're not taught in school about the history of slave trade. I can't imagine, why? Why aren't you taught about that? I need to ask our education system because that's how it is i mean we, there's so many things that you have to learn by yourself like slavery colonization all those things like i had to just go and research and read about it by so, yourself and, by myself and i'm still learning see I, I listen i didn't even know that being born in america you can be an african born in america i was so damn big. oh god i was so i, I was so dumb I, I didn't know you, you you're born in here I mean, you're an African born in Guyana. I, I, I didn't know. Yeah. Because we, di we, di we didn't know the history. We didn't know who we are as Africans. See, let me, let me ask you guys a question in the comment. Reply me in the comment section. Did you know that she is an African born in Guyana? Yeah. Like we even, we have different ethnic groups in Guyana. We have Indo-Guyanese, we have Sino Guyanese, which are Chinese. We have Luxo Guyanese, which are Portuguese. And we have African Guyanese, 
which is what I am, where does the African come from? The continent, obviously. And we have indigenous Guyanese, who we also call Amerindians. So we have all of these identifiers in front of Guyanese because it tells the story of where we originated from. So you Africans from the continent, please stop asking me why I'm calling myself African. I am an African who was born in Guyana. That's why I'm saying I'm African. My ancestors came from West Africa and Ghana in particular. Like one of my relatives, he did the family tree and the first ancestor that the tree starts with is a man from Ghana. Ooh. And that was very interesting to me. I always knew that, but I, I didn't like have proof. Good day, were you born? I was born on May 10th. It's a Sunday. May 10th? Yeah. Did I, you're born on May 10th? Yeah. You know, my wife was born on May 10th. Miss Trudy and I have yeah. the, <laughs> Miss Trudy and I have the same birthday. Yeah, I'm telling you, Trudy was born on May 10th. Uh -huh. So so now you're born on Sunday. It means um you're AC, right? Do you know you're born yeah. on Sunday? Yes. So my sister is was also born on Sunday. So she's like AC, so I give you a Ghanaian name. AC. 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 Yeah. AC. It's close oh, to Oh, Elsie. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's very close to my actual oh, name. name. Oh, yeah. All right, Elsie. Yes. You all should go check out Elsie's page and follow her, yeah? Yes, follow me.